SL marketing is growing so rapidly, I need to start integrating more of a tall structure to my business. Hey Kevin, can I speak with you for a minute? Sure, Sarah. But can you make it quick? I have a lot of work to get done here. Okay, well I heard that you're going to be promoting a few employees to management positions. And, uh, well, I thought that Mark would be a great fit for the sales manager. Mark is very effective at training the new reps and has been known to motivate them to sell more. He has really become a leader of the group. Thank you for your suggestion, Sarah. I will be sure to think it over and consider him. You're welcome. Talk to you later. Thank you for meeting with me, Mark. You have a great passion for sales and are so goal-oriented. I want to promote you to a sales manager and hire four new sales reps to report to you. Wow. Thank you for this opportunity, Kevin. Mary, as you know, I want to expand on the firm's organizational structure. You were the first person I employed under me and feel that you have a broad knowledge of what I need for this firm. I need a person in charge of human resources and all aspects of the term. I would love for you to help me with screening potential candidates to report to Mark and Sarah, as well as helping with any questions the new employees might have about any policies or procedures. How about the title Human Resource Manager? Yes, I would like this, Kevin. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Sarah, with all the structural changes happening and the uncertainty of the firm, I need a strong hand in marketing. Therefore, I have decided to make you Director of Marketing and have the ability to have two to three direct reports for assistance. This is great, Kevin. Thanks. I can work with Mark to make sure we get a great team together. Now, Sarah, I understand you and Mark have worked well together in the past, but I really do need to make sure that you now refocus your attention to marketing only and leave Mark to the sales until we have implemented all of the new structural changes. All right. Thanks, Kevin. I just had a meeting with Kevin, and I feel like he is trying to keep us away from each other thanks to Mary. Congratulations on your new position, Mark. Kevin has put me in charge of the human resources section. I've come up with some ideas for advertising the position and training the candidates. For the advertising aspect, I feel we should post the open positions on job boards to bring more inquiries for the open positions. Will the job openings remain on the website for the company as well? Yes, they will. Putting the job openings on a public board will bring in more candidates to choose from. For the training, will two weeks of training suffice? I don't know about only two weeks in my section. The work is a little more complex for just two weeks, I think. Can we expand to three weeks? I concur. Three weeks will work. Any other suggestions? No, I think that'll be all for right now. Thanks. I think I'm good. Thank you, Mary. You all are welcome. Please feel free to run any suggestions by me. Hey guys, I think I've found some great candidates for each of you. Mark, there's just one girl in particular I think will be perfect for your sales team. Here, take a look at her resume. Her name is Shannon. I also have Chad, who I think could work too. Thank you, Mary. I can't wait to meet them both. I'll go set up interviews right now. Do you have any candidates for me to interview, Mary? Oh, sorry, Sarah. No, I don't. I'm still looking at resumes, but as soon as I find someone, I will let you know. Mary, you do know that hiring employees based on gender is against the law, right? Yes, of course I do. Why would you think I'm hiring based on gender? Oh, no reason. Just seemed like you were favoring women over men when you were going through the resumes for Mark's department. I know you're a little jealous of Mark and your relationship. I assure you, Sarah, that I'm only hiring the best candidates for the department. Sarah only used me to get the top of her position. She clearly has no self-boundaries, and now she's with someone else. Kevin is part of her team, and I don't think she should be dating people that are part of her team. 
that should be like conflict of interest. I definitely understand, Mark. I will look into this for you. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Are you and Mark still together? No, but I also do not see how that is any of your business. Well, I hear that you are now with a guy named James, who I hired to be part of your team. That is none of your business. Who I am with has nothing to do with you. If I find out you are now with James, and I will, I will fire you. I just want you aware of that. If you want a boyfriend so badly, try finding one outside of work. Whatever. 